young Alexander Hamilton dreamed of elevating his status through the engagement of war. As captain of New York artillery, Hamilton was noticed and honored to become aide-de-camp of General Washington. After the war, Hamilton crafted his ideas into the U.S. Constitution and Federalist Papers. As Treasury Secretary, he further united the states through a strong central currency. Experience Alexander Hamilton. Live. And where might you be from? Pakistan. Ah, welcome. Thanks. A little bit of background about myself. I was one of the founding fathers of the United States of America. I served with General George Washington, who later became our first president. I served with him during the Revolutionary War. I was his aide-de-camp and then became Secretary of the Treasury once we were unified under our new Constitution, which I helped to write and get ratified by the different states. That's interesting. You know what? Uh, you know what that tells me. What is that? That you were probably like an honest and a trustworthy person, because anybody who's responsible for managing money is normally considered to be honest and trustworthy. Ah, thank you very much. Yes, and that was a uh, very important part of my life in order to to maintain that trust, uh, the trust of society, especially when politics are at play. It's very easy for factions to try to demean and paint others in borrowed clothing. And that is exactly what happened at one point during my life, uh, where I, my finances were called into question. And I had to publicly refute this in the newspaper and the truth of the matter was actually much more scandalous than the financial impropriety that they were accusing me of. It, the truth was that uh, I actually had an extramarital affair uh, whilst I was oh, yeah. Secretary of the Treasury. And I had to oh, put this into the newspaper and to tell everyone that uh, my impropriety was that of a marital nature, not of a financial nature. But I put the honor of the country and of my position as Secretary of the Treasury higher than my own family honor. Because if the people were to lose faith in the government of the United States, especially at the beginning, if they were to lose faith in the value of the dollar and just the trust in the dollar and our country, uh, then everything we fought for during the revolution would have been lost. So I had to sacrifice my own family honor uh, for that of the greater good. No, but like, how do you see that as a sacrifice of your own family honor when you technically were the one who brought shame to the family by having an extramarital affair in the first place? Ah, you are correct. Uh, I mean the uh, general realization of such an affair by society, but you are absolutely correct. Okay.